Yep. Ready to get going. All right, let's go. Let's do this. What's going on everybody? It's Eric Hong. Thanks for tuning in to another one. We are here at Stanislaw National Forest. Immigrant wilderness. Yeah, we're gonna hike into Relief Reservoir, stay there for two nights. Uh, nine of us here, not gonna be too bad of a hike. Three to four miles in, about a 1600 elevation gain and be a good time. So yeah, follow along and uh, check out the trails with us. All right, let's get to it. That's the famous Kennedy Meadows. Time to weigh in our packs. 36 pounds. 44. 44. 36. 36. Not bad. Not bad. 35. 8. 35 pounds. Let's get his fanny pack. Where's that little fanny pack at? 23. 1, 4. 23. Got two beers in it, man. You went up. <laughs> 40. 40 and a half. 30. 30. 40. Oh, 34. 51 pounds. <laughs> That's a new record right there. 51? 51. <laughs> 31 pounds. Starting off at the Kennedy Meadows Resort, which is down there. So far, so good. Weather is great. Things are like in the 60s right now. Thank goodness for fall weather. Yeah, fall is my favorite season. It's gonna be pretty cold tonight. Temperature is gonna be probably in the low 30s, maybe possibly in the 20s at night. So I'll be good. Opens up to this nice, nice little stream right here. If I didn't mention earlier, it's September 2021. It's a little low, but I'm just glad there's a stream. What is this, like, quarter of a mile? Quarter of a mile in? Pretty dope viewers. I think a lot of people fish over there. But I guess it's too low. <laughs> Popular horse trail. Nice. I'm good. I'm good. See? <laughs> awesome. Amazing. It's all dead snakes. If you don't stop. <laughs> Kurt is over there waiting. He's like, hurry up guys. He likes to make sure we're all safe. Here we go, coming up to the first bridge. A little over a mile, coming to that bridge, and then all that incline.
pretty low, but it still looks amazing. It's pretty cool. But a uh, mile and a half till you get over here. And so far it's pretty good. Trails maintained pretty well. Mile and a half in. How are you uh, not too bad. Haven't used my trekking poles yet, so pretty good. Great. My freaking shoulder is killing me. He's strapped, and I'm trying to sneak my bottle of uh, whiskey into someone's bag. So we'll see how that goes. I feel great. It's a little steep, but you know, hey, just take your time. Enjoy the scenery. It's awesome. A mile and a half in. How do you feel? Not too bad. Ready for a break, though. <laughs> Coming up to the second bridge. This trail is. It's pretty nice, I like it. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. feet and like two and a half miles in still uphill overall not bad <laughs> that's what happens when you have a 50 pound bag <laughs> Here comes a little junction relief reservoir Kenny legs that way we're going to relief. All these stairs. A lot of incline. Two and a half miles in. Good spot to uh, take a little short break. We are at that little boiler thing. Looks like a bear trap. All right, one more mile and it's downhill from here. Looks pretty nice, even at that low level. Dang, wow, beautiful. <laughs> I can't wait to get down there. You can see the, the dam right there. Water's pretty low. Let's go. Right? Oh, yeah. Come on, walk in the gym. Made it. Relief Reservoir. It only took us like almost four miles. <laughs> you do decide to do this, it's just uh, prepare for the uh, the incline, the elevation gain. I think we're about 7,000 feet. And uh, yeah, everybody's uh, getting set up right now. All right, time to set up a set of the tent.
Oh, it's flying. God damn this wind, man. There we have it. Got the tent set up. Had a little bit of an issue because of the wind, but powered through it and I uh, got it set up. Let me show you around a little bit. This is mine, New Hornet. Anthony's over there, Copper Spur. The one and only Mohammed Gubari has the Tiger Wall, Big Agnes. Rob hasn't set it up yet. Let me get out of his way. Ron's got that dagger, Nemo dagger. Ooh, that one looks nice. It's roomy. Yeah. Curtis right here. We got Jason over here. Big Agnes. Big Agnes. Bike pack. Tiger wall. Got Brett over here with his CPAC duplex. Kurt is right there, I don't know what he's doing. This is right here, not set up yet. He too has the Nemo Hornet. And Rob has the Featherstone. Yep, this is our little hangout spot. Um, and uh, this would be our campfire, but it's no fire season, so we can't make fire. A little bit of a bummer, but hey, it's all good. We're still out here, and that's all that matters. Nice and cold, man. You wanna jump in? I might. Ah, that was so good. Oh, nice. Whew, drank hella water. <laughs> Time to make some lunch. Late lunch. so much Vietnamese style Miro that pho so it already comes in a pre-package rice noodle comes with the seasoning and oil but I'm not gonna use oil I want all that sodium Uh, you got the, uh... Oh yeah, this is so good. Can't beat instant noodles. I'm enjoying my noodle. I'm relax a little bit. How about you? Hi. How the hike in? Uh, it kind of sucked because my heel is pretty messed up. Left hip is jacked. I barely walk carrying. 50 pound bag. I brought all that crap right there. Whiskey, pumpkin beer, and milkshake IPA. Uh, the hiking was great. It was a little intense at some points in time. I wasn't expecting it to tell you the truth. Um, the campsite we found is amazing. Love it. Uh, great group of guys, couple new guys. It's an amazing trip. <laughs> hiking was great. It was tough, but it was also very exciting because it was something new. The, the scenery was incredible. I never seen anything like that. It was great. It was exhilarating. The hiking was amazing. Me and Anthony was a team and we worked together, climbed up this mountain. Oh my goodness. Went up to a 1600 elevation. It was about four miles and uh, but it was great. Cramped up afterwards. Make sure you take your electrolytes because you'll get a cramp. You know what, it's tougher than I thought it would be. All the data that we had, we knew what we were in for. We knew the elevation change. It was a tougher experience than I, than I anticipated. But man, we're here, we all made it. I'm just gonna enjoy it for a couple days. Ron and Jason. Uh, you gonna fry these up? Mm-hmm. We're gonna have a 
some cup of noodle stir fry, teriyaki flavor. And I'm gonna have some of that with some chicken, some seasoned chicken from uh, Curtis. So I'm gonna put them together and uh, see how it's gonna go. And that concludes day one. It's been a good day. It's been a real good day. Just kind of finished the rest of the night just hanging around and then uh, maybe head to bed early. Wake up in the morning and, and we'll see where the day takes us. Well, all right. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Day two. Yeah, I slept okay. Tossed and turned quite a bit. 7 a.m. right now. A couple of the guys are starting to wake up. It's a little bit cold. It's in like the 30s. It's a little bit cloudy. I'm gonna get the morning routine going. Uh, of course, no fire. Get the coffee going and the morning breakfast. Maybe try to do some fishing. Stick around and uh, see where this adventure takes us. <laughs> Man, this is beautiful. Alright, tossed the turn a little bit, but it was plenty warm. I had to unzip once in a while to get the heat out, but I slept alright. You got a powder coffee. Uh, I didn't sleep good. I, uh, I kept hearing stuff brush against my tent. I thought it was a bear or uh, plague squirrels or one of these guys. So I woke up like 10 times, man. Like, man I'm, I'm feeling good right now, so yeah. How'd I sleep? I slept good. I uh, woke up a couple times, but it was. It was a warm sleep. It was good. Stuck my head out. It was cold. I'm right back in the hole. But. All right, 15 grams. Just gonna eyeball it. All right, well, the sun's coming out. You see behind me? Oh! Perfect for uh, breakfast, huh? That looks like six ounces. Mm. Oatmeal. Apple cinnamon. Can't go wrong with that. Slept all right. It was a bit cold. I think freezing is about the limit of my new uh, my new quilt. Uh, I don't know. We'll try it again tonight. Time to try to attempt to fish. This boy is looking nice. I'm a little telescopic rod. Oh shit! Come over off the off the thing because they'll Well, okay. Got uh, two of them. All right. Now time to get them up and eat it for lunch. Ron's over there, if you can see him. We heard thunders. Thunders rolling from that way. Okay, well, got my raincoat on now, or jacket, because it's kind of sprinkling. That's why I always bring a 
jacket. It's all cloudy now. Coming down. Good news, it's blue skies over there. So we'll be all right. The rain stopped. Now, make some food. Tonight we're gonna eat Peak Refuel Chicken Alfredo Pasta. 53 grams of protein. So I had the um, beef stroganoff last time. And man, that thing is good. So good. I wanted to try the other ones. Should be done by now, should be like 10 minutes. Mmm, smells great. Nice and creamy, chunks of chicken. This chicken looks, looks legit. Mmm, yep, that's good, I like it. Mmm, mm-hmm, good. Well, there you have it. The end of day two. And uh, yeah, we'll just enjoy the rest of the night and see you in the morning, huh? No? All right. You're all packed up. No, I got it. So clothes and shit. It's very good. Yeah. Morning. Good morning. It's day three. Everybody uh, is starting to get up. It's time to get our morning routine going. Start packing up and head on out of here. Last words. It was a great trip, a little cold, but it was a good hike, great time, great bunch of guys to come with. I'll do it again in a minute. Uh, can't wait to get the next one going. Last word, uh, it was fun. The weather kind of was a little colder, didn't sleep good at all. The rain kind of sucked. The 50 pound bag kind of sucked for this hike too. We'll see how this the hike back goes. I think I'm like 15, 20 pounds lighter with no beer and whiskey, so it was a good time. Yeah, um, great trip. It was a lot of fun. Uh, the camaraderie and, and hanging out, joking and poking. Be ready for the next one. Last words, uh, it was a great bunch of guys. Had a good time. A little cold the second night. Toss it and turn. We'll do it again. Thank you, Eric. Last words, uh, you know what, it's a great trip. And there's a new experience for me, backpacking with these guys. Um, I'll do it again. I don't think that I, I could have done it, but uh, I kept up with these guys. You know, I'm proud of myself and just hanging out with these guys. It's fun and I'll do it again. All right, well, it's the end of another great trip. I really liked this one. The campsite was really, really good. Rained a little bit, it was actually kind of fun. A um, Couple new things, first time, the Waymark gear. Had a new uh, quilt from um, Timbermade. Excellent, excellent. Anyway, um, you know I love this stuff and I can't wait for the next one. All right guys, out. Well, there you have it. That concludes our three day, two night trip in Relief Reservoir. Status all National Forest, Immigrant Wilderness. Good trip with a good bunch of guys. All trails says moderate, and uh, yeah, I agree. It's a moderate hike. Four miles in, four miles out. And 1,600 elevation gain. We're all packed and ready to go. Now it's time to prepare for the next one, eh? All right, thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, see you on the next one. Till next time.